Hello Cancer, how are you guys doing today? Welcome into this yes and no or negative and positive reading, depending on what question you're going to ask. So let's have a look and see. Let's get some cards out for you guys. I just have to make sure I, I re kind of like shuffle the cards so that I get the yes and no vibe through. Um, let's have a look and see. Let's get some cards out. If this reading resonates with you, then you're going to know very, very well if your yes and no is meant for you. Okay, that's why I'm going to read some tarot before I give the yes and no if it doesn't resonate then this one is not for you remember it's a general reading guys so let's have a look and see here there is something going on here without a doubt that you don't know the answer to with the moon card coming up here this is why you're asking the question um that's i don't know is there something hidden from me kind of energy this can have to do with i think it's got to do with love a lot of this energy is coming through for love today so let's have a look and see what comes through here yeah, somebody is very much in love with somebody else. I kind of like feel the question is leaning towards, but do they love me back? Um, it could be because of their behavior. Let's have a look and see. Yeah, there's a total confusion here. Total confusion. With these two cards that have come up here, the moon and the judgment card in the reverse position, total confusion. Um, two people's energies coming through very distinctively as well. Um, there's a wonder and a doubt here. I think honestly, if this is your reading, I do feel like this is you qu questioning a person's like loyalty to you, questioning a person's um, uh, commitment to you and even possibly love to you as well. With the moon card coming up there, this is the questions. These are the questions that you're asking and you do not have the answer to it. This is, by the way, the Pisces energy that comes through here as well. You don't have the answers to this question that you're asking the person's energy comes in here you got a king of pentacles in the reverse position you got the queen of wands in the reverse position excuse me guys i can actually see what makes you this confused um first of all the king of pentacles usually suffers from some kind of insecurity with regards to things that have happened in their own world um a breakup possibly that happened to themselves um in their own past that makes them not want to give commitment again to somebody else this also tells me that somebody is very um kind of like non-committal energy as well and paired with the queen of wands in the reverse position that is just like literally taking the cake over there guys because the thing is with the queen of wands in the reverse position um sometimes they don't tell the truth they can be a bit lax with the truth kind of energy and um I kind of like feel like they're not telling you the truth here. There's something that they keep from you. Or if they do say something to you, it's like if you ask them, do you want to be with me? They go, yes, but their actions are, are no. You know what I mean? It's like, do you, do you have feelings for me? Yes, I do have feelings for you. But their actions are no. You see, and this can bring confusion in because, you know, we as human beings, you know, we got such good hearts. When we hear somebody say something to us, we trust the words that are coming out of their mouth. I mean, um, I'm like that as well. I trust anyone that speaks to me. And sometimes, you know, I've learned the hard way not to do that. Um, this is your energy at the bottom here. This tells me that you've got feelings for this person. With the King of Cups energy, your male or female energy as well, I feel like you're literally going, I will... I can go the distance with this person. You are pretty well matched because you're both king energy, um, because you're both at the same kind of level in life or the same kind of, um, even uh, from the same area, from the same, you know, just the same kind of level. You're living in the same world, basically. Um, the thing is, yeah, you would love this to go to this place. You would love it to go to the Ten of Cups energy. You would love this to be able to go to a place of marriage and happiness. And I honestly think they have even promised this to you. And it, you think, I kind of got that vibe that they've told you this. They've told you, yeah, I'm going to be with you. We're going to move forward together. And we're going to live in the Ten of Cups over here in this nice house and have two little kids over there and be happy and live happily ever after. And your heart was totally given to this dream and to them. But there's an element of confusion coming through here because what they promising here is not what they're doing with these two cards and that's the mystery and this is causing you to get so confused with the judgment card in the reverse position it's literally complete confusion it's like what do i do am i right am i wrong is this person basically doing something i dropped something here is this person um genuine in their offer are they telling me the truth i don't know why but cards are dropping let me see what i've dropped here because it's 
cards keep on dropping. Let me go see what cards came up here. Yeah, this is the two cards that literally, <coughs> sorry guys, literally just fell on the floor. Um, they wanted to be seen. You got the wool card in the reverse position. And this is the energy of what's in this Ten of Cups here. Um, there's a definite doubt here as to what you need to do. With the Seven of Swords energy, I think this is, I think somewhere deep in your heart, you know the truth, to be honest. I think you know the truth about what is going on here with regards to this person. And I feel like you also don't want to face that truth as well. I love you, Cancer. I understand totally. Been here, done that, okay? Um, this, what, this world is what this person is promising you. And it lies in the Ten of, Cup, Ten of Cups here. It's the future. It's the dream. It's, it's everything that they're talking about. And at the same time, he has the doubt in you. There's the Seven of Swords energy, kind of like wondering, I don't even know if this is going to work. Should I even take all my stuff and walk away from this connection? Because I'm not really sure what is going on here. There's, there's, a, there's a doubt from the very beginning of this reading. There's been, I'm not sure what's going on. Um, I honestly feel like this is the truth. This is your intuition. This is you literally going, um, I think. I think you try, you ignore it sometimes because the Seven of Swords also comes sometimes talks about uh, sometimes getting into a situation and you know you shouldn't be in the situation, but you kind of get into it anyway. It's like when we haven't yet or not yet wanted to face the truth about something. And I feel like you're kind of like there. And whatever this, in the, the, the yes and no in this depends on how you're asking the question, of course, but this is a negative energy that's coming through here. Um, this energy that comes through here is is. I feel like if you asking, should I walk away from this connection, um, that would be a negative energy because it would be a yes, because this person is not serious about what they're talking about here. They're telling you something that is not true with the moon card coming up there. So if it's you going, uh, am I right to believe that this person is playing with my emotions, that would be a yes energy. So that would also be a negative if you get what I mean. See, the yes and no questions are complicated. So basically, I feel like you're right, you should be trusting your instincts here. When you get that little voice that comes in your mind and goes, yeah, I'm not sure about the situation, that voice is correct on that matter. So this energy here, I honestly feel like you can see through the reading, this is a negative energy. And they asking you, I'm getting an oracle card out for you as well. They literally asking you to go deeper here yeah, into that intuition. With the grounding energy, that is literally go deep, explore your roots. That is, I think, the part that you're sometimes pushing away with the Seven of Swords here. You know that little voice? It comes from a very deep place. I think you're going to go and have to have a conversation with that little voice. And sometimes we don't want to do that because we'd rather just have a hope and live in a, in a dream that something is going to happen. Because this world card talks about our future dreams. It's in the reverse position. It's got to do with this Ten of Cups. Because you may be holding on to a dream that may never get here. Unless somebody starts to show you serious steps to getting to this place here. And this is one thing I know. If somebody is not showing it to you now... They haven't shown this like serious steps to getting to a place of stability. They haven't shown this to you in the past 30 days or the past um, two months or the past three months or the past year. They're not going to start showing it to you next week. Um, they're just going to continue this behavior on and on. And this is where you like, we're literally going to have to go deeper into yourself to that little voice and start listening to that energy. There we go, Cancer. If this reading resonates with you, please hit that thumbs up button, even subscribe and comment if you want to below. Um, because the readings do come out again tomorrow. It's going to be for the single people out there. So thank you guys for coming into the reading. I'm wishing you all the best moving forward. Bye.